Hi, I'm Vicky, a senior biomedical scientist and apprentice mentor here at Viapath Analytics. Some research suggests diagnostic services, including pathology, contribute up to 70% of clinical decisions. Biomedical scientists, or healthcare scientists as they are increasingly being called, are specialised, state-registered professionals who work largely behind the scenes to analyse numerous forms of data and interpret this data into a tangible result. There are multiple disciplines within pathology in which you can embark on a career. Our speciality is haematology, looking at the size, shape, quantity and quality of cells and blood transfusion, testing donor blood against patient samples to find suitable matches. To practice as a biomedical scientist, an individual must hold an IBMS accredited degree and an IBMS evidence-based registration level portfolio to achieve HCPC registration and acceptance into the career. The profession has been evolving over the last decade and trainee positions have become increasingly competitive. One way in which this has been addressed is by offering a four-year apprenticeship. Lorato and Rosanna are currently MLAs at Viapath Analytics and have been working on their apprenticeship studies in conjunction with Staffordshire University. The apprentices are allocated 20% of their working week to attend long distance virtual lectures with the university. Their learning is supported by shadowing scientists already experienced in the profession, by having regular reviews with a workplace mentor, and by completing simulated training activities. The advantage of learning in this way is that they gather real life experience and can put this towards their registration portfolio completion. Once they have finished their degrees, not only will they be state registered biomedical scientists, but they'll also have gathered three or four years experience. Hi, I'm Rosanna. I work as a medical lab assistant at the hospital in the pathology lab and I'm currently studying for a healthcare science apprenticeship and it specialises in blood sciences um, so that I will be able to be a biomedical scientist um, once I finish after my four-year course. Okay. So with an apprenticeship um, you don't have to pay anything yourself, it's all fully funded um, and also you get um, a certain amount of time um, each week out of your working hours um, as a standard it's 20%, so on average um, I get seven and a half hours a week um, out of my work um, to do all my studies. However, there is at least probably another day a week that I have to find out my own free time to make sure I get all the work done. Hi, my name is Luato. I currently work at the PRU as a medical lab assistant. Um, I'm currently enrolled on the healthcare science degree apprenticeship. Um, there are quite a few advantages to being enrolled on an apprenticeship. One of the other benefits is that you're earning as you're working and also getting the training. You have a lot of support with biomedical scientists who are already registered as biomedical scientists. Um, also, there isn't that struggle that most university graduates have with getting training with, um, to get their registration portfolio. So once you're at the end of your course, you're already sort of like trained and you're able to start work. A lot of the employers as well are sort of readily, um, they've made vacancies available for you to start the job that you've been trained for. Disadvantage, yeah. mm -hmm. no uni life experience. <laughs> <laughs> But all in all, I think the workload probably would, it's just um, having to balance work and having to do um, your studies and uni work on the side as well. But yeah, we have great support, it's quite beneficial. What's that? Random advice? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just follow your heart, do what you love, pursue the career that you feel passionate about. We love science, that's what we're here. Yay. In haematology, we contribute to the diagnosis of many common uh, and some not so common uh, disease states such as iron deficiency anemias, um, B12 deficiencies, malaria, glandular fever and a whole host of haematological malignancies including acute leukemias, lymphomas and myelomas. 
and our role is to not only aid diagnosis but also to help support treatment. So Cook, I'm the operations manager for the haematology laboratory here at the Princess Royal. Uh, we're part of the Firepath uh, group. Um, in terms of apprenticeships, uh, the main advantage for me is that you get uh, MLAs at the, the sort of low, lower grade uh, starting out in their career, uh, being able to coach them and promote them. Um, sort of making them BMSs that you would want them to be really, so, so sort of homegrown. Um, and, and by the end of it, you, you've got someone there who uh, is ready to become a BMS and that has got quite a few uh, years, two, three, maybe four years in some cases, experience at uh, laboratory and bench level um, before they actually step into a, a BMS role. Um, so it does give them a good standing into coming into the profession. In terms of being able to take on an apprenticeship, um, my advice would be to look for um, a low level, something like an MLA uh, position uh, within the Viapath group, whereby the learning and development um, and mentoring uh, type uh, courses, uh, like the apprenticeships, can be utilised in order to uh, further your career. Apprenticeships are not routinely advertised on NHS jobs. However, you could look for a trainee position and then contact the recruiter to ask them if they would consider an Annex 21 position. This would allow you to complete your studies whilst working for them. Another option is to take an MLA position for an organisation that you know supports apprenticeship schemes. One of those is Viapath Analytics, as previously mentioned, and Staffordshire University have a very good programme of working with employers to provide this service. Thank you for your time today and good luck in your future career decisions.